Just like learning any other skill, pilots must begin with learning the fundamentals of flight before moving on to more advanced maneuvers and skills. The four fundamentals of flight are the building blocks necessary to develop the skills needed to be a great aviator. The four fundamentals of flight that must be developed first are straight and level flight, turns, climbs, and descents. This video will explain the first fundamental of flight, straight and level flight. While a plane is in straight and level flight, the pilot maintains the desired heading and altitude. This can be done by using sight pictures or looking outside of the airplane for specific references. The first step in straight and level flight is to set up the aircraft. The pilot first sets the throttle to the desired power setting. In Epic Cessna 172s, this is around 2300 RPMs, and the ailerons and rudder are neutral. Once this is accomplished, the pilot now uses specific sight pictures to confirm they are in straight and level flight. The first sight picture the pilot uses to identify straight and level flight is looking to the right and left of the aircraft and referencing the wings and horizon. If the wings and horizon are parallel, the aircraft is in level flight. If the leading edge of the wing is closer to the horizon than the trailing edge, the plane is in a descent. If the trailing edge of the wing is closer to the horizon than the leading edge, the aircraft is in a climb. Using constant small corrections, a pilot can keep the aircraft's wings and horizon parallel and correct for any climbs or descents. Also, by referencing and comparing the distance between the wing and horizon on both the right and left side, the pilot can determine if the aircraft is in a turn or if it is flying straight. If one wing is closer to the horizon, the aircraft will be turning in that direction. Using small, constant corrections to equalize the distance between each wing and the horizon, a pilot can keep the aircraft's wings level and prevent undesired turning. The next sight picture associated with straight and level flight is looking forward through the windscreen. The pilot uses an object far in the distance, such as a building, road, body of water, cloud, or other terrain as an aiming point. This pilot should turn the aircraft towards the object and keep the aiming point in the same area on their windscreen. This will cause the airplane to fly straight in the direction of the object. In order to maintain a level flight altitude, the pilot uses the horizon and the glare shield above their instrument panel to fly the plane at the same altitude. The horizon should remain slightly above the glare shield in order to maintain a desired altitude. Since all aircraft are different, it is important that the pilot cross-references their instruments to ensure the aircraft is not in a climb or descent. This may take some fine-tuning at first, but once this skill is mastered, a pilot can quickly reference the outside to ensure the plane is in straight and level flight. After referencing the necessary sight pictures, the pilot scans their instruments to cross-check they are in straight and level flight. Their airspeed, altitude, and heading should remain constant. Their attitude indicator should not show a climb, descent, or turn. Their inclinometer, or slip-skid indicator, should show the aircraft is coordinated, and their vertical speed should be zero feet per minute. After the instrument scan is complete, the pilot begins scanning their sight pictures again. This process is continuous throughout the flight. It is important that pilots spend 90% of their flight time scanning outside of the aircraft for traffic, terrain, and weather, and 10% of the time inside the cockpit scanning instruments and doing other tasks. Using elevator trim to remove any unwanted pressures on the control wheel will allow the pilot to fly the aircraft straight and level without excessive control pressures. If the airspeed of the aircraft changes, the pilot should retrim the aircraft to maintain the desired sight pictures and remain in straight and level flight. Student pilots should practice flying straight and level at different power settings, altitudes, and directions until this skill becomes natural. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.